playing through these games. We hope you've enjoyed all the action, but the Battle Bus is launching game number six, man. It's actually hot drop wilding. I don't think we've had a bus like this all Not day yet, actually. So it's going to be quite interesting. Interesting to see how many people play wilding. How many people are, are down for that type of hot drop? Uh, yeah, for that Just type like, of hot go. drop. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's not forget if, if we're under the assumption that people are going to be like, hey, I'm going to lay it on the line. Yeah. You and, might see it. Yeah. And I think Wiling is sort of that, that space, that spot for I could get those few early game engagements and not be put so behind when it comes to materials and other things in the game. But yeah, we have roughly around the same amount of people for one landing center, uh, you know, lodges and, and some one person at it. So typically that's right around the, the average setup we see for that. We see some people going, uh, you know, off to Snobby, Pleasant Park, Junk Junction, top left corner. And Lazy Link's actually kind of interesting. Four players landed there. That's something we, I don't think we've seen much of before. But J Storm Tyler's here. Oh, Missend actually. And Tilted getting pushed up upon Gank. Oh, Logan. Logan. One HP. Gets him. That is not enough, though. Dr. Lupo eliminates a player there. Cowboy says bye. Gank Logan takes down Mason. And already we have eight players that have been eliminated. Goners. And like, here we are. Like you talked about, man. Fatal Fields, General, Cadi. They know that they are all here. Harrion's in the back. He's looting the little the little house all the way off there on the side. I don't think it's a bad idea. Then rotate in. I mean, he has shield. If these guys go at it, he could come in and sweep up an elimination, but General is going to get taken a hit using Ooh. the Port of Fortress there. Uh, you know, I feel like that was maybe a little too early to use that. Maybe. Just a, just a tad bit too early. If he wins this engagement, though. Okay, all right. yeah. Worth. You know, worth. Makati was over there banging his head on the top of the brick <laughs> uh, the, the the bricks floor, trying to get up. Like, I mean, yeah, he's gonna expect you to come up from there. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, nice well, that try. Happens. But that over happens. to Dimes, who is in shifty shafts. Oh, and it's Scatch. There you go. First Let's Dimes. See. Listen, Scatch could play that AR to his advantage, and and really plot something here. But Dimes got a pump just waiting for him. Waiting for him to make the wrong roof. See, Scatch wants him to come, wants him to play aggro toward him. That's why he's kind of like teasing him, shooting right. at his wall, not really peeking out, making sure he doesn't have LOS because he wants him to get close. Then boom, jump up, double barrel him, just take him out. So we'll see if Dimes falls for the, this bait, but I think he's gonna play it out smart, play it slow. But you never know. I like see that he's got the hunting rifle out. He's like, if you give me an opportunity, man, I'm gonna hunting rifle you. Don't do it. Ooh, okay, no scope goes for it. I didn't really expect that to hit. That was more like an intimidation factor, you know? But like you're saying, he's playing it really smart. Here we smart. go. He's got the double barrel! Oh. But it's not enough. And he only chips away at the shield as well, so Dimes is going to be able to loot up mm -hmm. the, uh, the little mushrooms all the way yeah. around. Dime, Dimes is in a perfect position there. Getting one early game elimination like that is, is what you want to see is when you're playing in these matches. You want to be able to get that quickie limb and then just be on your way. Carry on with your game plan, you know? Future Orange tops off his shields. He does have that campfire so he can top off if needed. Might not do it just yet. Look how many people are still in Tilted Towers. Look at this. Safe zone. It's shifting. Oh. So that's nice. You know what? This is the first, I, 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 I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but this seems to be the first west side circle that we've had. So far I want to say all day. Feels yeah, like it. so it's going to be awesome to see how players play this, uh, this environment because I don't think we, we've seen much of it. Yeah, at least, uh, like you said, it doesn't feel like that. We've had a so lot I'm of excited them. for this one. We've had a lot of them that just keep going within the Yeah, this, the, or, uh, the center. Yeah. yeah, we've had a lot of centers. We had a few, like, northwest. But it's nice to see it shift the other way around and see how players play it. Definitely something to think about because the people that land west side of the map are going to be in a huge advantage. Your junk junction people just sitting just there. Just one right hanging now. Hanging out. Yeah, probably. And it's Ooh. probably vivid. It actually might very well and be. That's a dangerous person to to get that many materials into their early game. But Sir Demetrius, painful. This could get a little bit messy. Sir Demetrius is in an unfortunate situation. Use double barrel. He needs to reload it. If anything, if he, if if painful gives him the opportunity, but he ends up clutching it out with the burst. Oh, wow! Come on! 
Oh, he's got a med kit there oh. as well. Ammo, two med kits. Oh, dude. Listen, there's some times where, like, I think of stuff and I'm like, yeah, this makes sense, right? Right. And then players just, like, they'll pull something out of their pocket and make something happen, and it just <laughs> blows my mind. The burst rifle was there. That was yeah, enough to, yeah, yeah. And it's like, Excel's good, good. Four kills, Excel's. Hello. Oh, Excel's cleared my. out tilted. Oh, my. Oh, wait, someone else Let's is here. Let's go. Dude, if he picks this up, he's going to have five eliminations just to start the game. Early game, done. I'm walking out with five eliminations. I, I really, it? really want him to grab that heavy sniper rifle. Like, with everything in me, I want him to grab it and just go away, go farm, <laughs> hide in the woods, <laughs> and just don't worry about a thing. Just go farm buildings and tilt it for half the game if you have to. So you just want him to, to chill out as far as, like, to have the heavy sniper in yes, his Yes, because then he could... You could use that heavy sniper for that aggression late game, and you are a threat coming into people's one by ones with 200 HP what? and a, a heavy sniper and a sorry, a heavy shotgun. So he drops the grappler for the quad launcher. Mm -hmm. He's probably trying to make a play on on this person in the other building. He's probably going to clear it out, but yeah. not sure. He looks like he's going for that big pop up. Mills here, little replay action. Get him, Mills. Ooh, clean pump yeah. shot into the SMG spray down. There you go. Well played. The FPS finds a rift from a fellow Harry. Yep. Who's got another one, by the way. <laughs> Look at him flying overhead. Oh, check the angle. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, production. All right. Here we oh, go. Ashton is down below he here. Is a white though. If anybody is to just take one shot at him here, and Ashton might be the person to do so. They're going to be relentless on Harion, but it's a free glide. I'm surprised, and not FP. Uh, sorry, the FPS is back into the swing of things. He sees these people posted up. Phenomenal player, by the way. A lot also, of respect out there for, for FPS. Also a llama. Yeah, and a llama. That's why I said that, actually. <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I mean, they flash. <laughs> there it is. Just kidding, just kidding. The FPS is actually in, like an OG of the comp community. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you know, him being like a llama helps. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And he he's aligned here with Ashen. Oh, he's, he's a heavy yeah, sniper. Ashen, Ashen just bailing, dude. That's interesting. Ashen saw both these players, him and Harion's landing, and then it's just like, nah. I'm good to keep doing my thing, but oh, here we are, divot. Dusty Divot. 25 seconds till Dusty Divot starts to close in. You have two, four, six, eight people in the entirety of Dusty's, you know, the diner, the divot, everywhere. And they're all, none of them are in circle. All of them are going to have to push out, and none of them have taken the foresight to realize that. And instead, they're hyper-focusing this. Land Jock should be the... Here we go. He's going to use his grappler just to get oh, in yeah, a better okay. position to where he can play for these pixels with people that are going to have to rotate out of, hopefully. Out of the divot, that is. He sees KU down below. Oh, he sees. He, okay. The, yes. Yes. He's going for it. Just go. There you Perfect. go. And Landjock making, he could have stayed there for that fight the entire time, but not. Oh, so <laughs> he picks it up. He does he get a 60 limb off of it, please. Yes. Oh, wow. Some of that quad launcher gameplay is what we've been wanting to see, Zeke. Unbelievable. Again, man, just utilizing it to its fullest. Again, it can hold four rockets. You can fire them off at will. And Excels, man, he's coming into this mid game with six eliminations. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, Poach has the most on the day overall across NA and DU with nine. Yeah. Excels, Excels could pull this off, dude. I, I didn't know exactly what Excels' mat count was, but he definitely can. If he just gets the right amount of mounts, if he, uh, materials, sorry, gets what he needs to solidify a position into this next circle, or the, sorry, the circle after this one, he'll be in a really good spot. And Fuzzy's gonna be in a little bit of an engagement. We're talking over for a bit, but boom, big shock wave. Uh, he knows he's white though. He's gonna go for the spray down from afar. FPS looking for any opportunity to get damage on. Fuzzy is literally digging his grave. Psych, he hopped out of it. And FPS gonna look for more opportunities to shoot some shots at him. I like that, man. That was really good. Fuzzy now super far away. And the FPS is like, uh, okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna reload everything. Great fight. I'll see you at some point in the future.
I don't think he's angle. happy with that. He just he does he's relentless with this. He doesn't want to give him the opportunity to heal. But here we go. Excel shift these shots. This could be dangerous. If Excel does not notice the amount of people that are around him, this could all go downhill from here if he doesn't be aware. His, his opponent disengaged. It's time for him to disengage as well. He needs to get out of Shifty Shacks. He might even need to use these two grapplers to get out of here. In my opinion, I think he can make a rotation toward the rocks on the hill just west and get a really clean rotation out of here. There's but here's below. more players. Upshout is in the mines down below. He's, he's probably too far. He can't hear the footsteps mm -hmm. coming from Upshout. He's just aware that somebody's around. Trying to zero in. The storm is moving though. We don't have a lot of time. A minute 30. But take a look again. Excels the closest right now with six eliminations. If he can get two more, that, that activates the big bonus. And he can. I believe he can. I believe. Look, throw right flower here. though. Do you see that he comes out of nowhere? He's got five now. Yep. Oh. Flower with five. People are moving. Excels needs to get moving too. I think Excels might have put himself in a very bad situation that we're not talking about here. Excels was in a very, very good position and making this rotation towards Shifty, taking the fight, taking those engagements has now set him behind dramatically. He would have been able to have a really good rotation into the circle if you were to play it up early, but Flower with his fifth elimination right here Ooh. cleans it up and grabs it. But yeah, back onto Excels for a minute, and now he's gonna have to rotate into the zone late. Find a position that's not gonna be there for him with 45 players remaining. It's a tough ask, and, and he might even have to rely on those two grapplers that he doesn't want to use. Psalm taking down the likes of Cloak. We see that in the elimination feed there. I mean, look, Rogue, Flower, right behind Excels. They are neck and neck here. And, and, ex and I mean, Flower just got bursted to shreds. <laughs> Unfortunate, but he's not in a bad position overall to, to make this happen either. Yes, his HP isn't where it needs to be necessarily, but he could put it together still, has a campfire. I doubt he wants to use it. Him not having HP might be his downfall, but I would love to see Flower still come out of it. He has a very big opportunity for a rotation here. We know he's on the edge of that mountain right off the Tilted. Right. He could get something early possibly and solidify his position before anybody else does. He could be in a very good opportunity here, but now we're off to Salt FN with one elimination. And here we go. Here he is. Excels. Excels. Look he at finds all a way. the opportunities, Smith. He found it. Okay, now he now keep in mind, he's right next to the safe service mm -hmm. we talked about. Doesn't have to go too far. The F the FTS though finds Wiles here in this elimination. There you go. Almost gets third party. Almost. And now look it's Land Jock. And here we go. The FPS knows he's low. Oh, ho, ho. He's saying, come instantly, on inside. Instantly going to start applying that pressure. Gets the edit. He's going to want to break that other one, though, before anything, before he could do basically anything. But he said, no, nah, why break oh. the other trap when I could just break your structure because it's built on one wall? <laughs> the FPS finds elimination. Back to Excels, though. Excels Nip. just, he, so like, he's looking for it. He sees Horrify healing. This could be big. This could be the seventh elimination. It. I, I like this. He's just playing it slow. He doesn't have to force himself to this wall. He's just trying to see what he can do right now. Yes, but he making this high ground play, taking the time to push these people. And you know, we've talked about it. Some the people have the tools. They'll have everything necessary, but they'll hyper focus on those eliminations. They'll be so close, so close to tasting, you know, or or getting close to being able to start getting big bonuses that. You know, they'll, they'll completely focus on that one elimination. And maybe he has a plan to use the bouncers, right? Use Whoa. the bouncers to, to rotate out. But he's going to try to get in here. There he gets the elimination. Zeke. Myth, it could happen. Okay. This is good. Honestly, I did not expect that to go down like that. I did not. I don't, I don't understand. But there's still somebody off on the side waiting to laser Excels. They know that Excels is, is low. They know that he's white. Uh, he's gonna get the heal off. He's gonna take a little bit of storm damage. He'll it's be okay. fine. But B Sox is just waiting for him. He's even gonna he's gonna mini. That's how that's how scared he is. He wants to be certain. He's like, I oh, need no. to do this. Uh oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, no Excels. grappler to get into here. Look, it's B Sox gatekeeping him right now. If Excels could grab the high ground here, he might have a fighting chance. But if he doesn't, 
He's gonna be put in a situation where he's just gonna play low. Oh! Oh, big bonus is right here. But b socks getting third party from the other side. Excels might have an opportunity. Excels, oh, no. you need a build! Oh, no. No! <laughs> that was not the time for a bit damage, please. Oh, no. Nine HP. Someone just needs to look angrily in his direction. Excels uh, is... All right, this is this is a power this play. This is scary. It's a power play. It's a power play with 70 oh no. materials and somebody shooting you from the top of a mountain. Oh my gosh. It ain't a power play. It's, just, it's a last resort play. <laughs> You're right. There's and I mean this. He is, has no other options but to challenge B Socks here, and will he find it? Oh, Spray no. can't seem to hit the shots that he needs. <laughs> B Socks taking out Excels, ruining his legacy. But I think more than anything, Excels might have put himself in the situations that he didn't need to be in. With that, B Socks shuts it all down here in slow mo. Now keep in mind, if he had gotten that extra elimination, he would have activated big bonus. That would have been 7.5k heading his way. But B Sox said, not today. No, friend. no, no. No, no, no. This will be my legend. And keep in mind though, Rogue Flower still alive. Okay. He's got five eliminations. So he is the next people's champion. Yeah, and, and he's and now like, crowned. And like I seen Rogue Flower before, he he wasn't in a in a bad situation material wise. I don't know exactly where he is on the map, but he's not in a tragic situation like Excels was. And I think Excels played a situation, you know, phenomenally with the situations that he kept putting himself into, these these situations where he has to waste mass, he he, he has to play late for the rotation. He has he's gonna end up getting third partied, of course, because of the all those late rotations. But here we go, Gank Brandon, he knows that he is white. Underneath, so I wouldn't be surprised if he just challenges this. Ooh. And he does. If Beesock says, open the door. <laughs> Come on open. inside. Come on in. I'm ready. <laughs> I know you don't got it. I got it. I got it. You want to know You want to know what he's got? That blue stuff. That blue stuff, a.k.a. shield. Yep. If you didn't know, when we refer to blue and white, it is blue being shield and white being the damage health uh, to your health bar. So if you didn't know, now you know. Oh, oh this is dog. dog. No. Not like yeah. this. Rex. Yeah, it might, it might. Mm. Well, Triz picking it up. B-Sox here, three kills. Been marching his way through ever since. And 32 people into this zone, Zeke. And we've seen, like, I think this has been one of the circles where we had less people that have been alive in higher kill counts across the board. Five, three, three. People, many people with three already Ooh. at this point. And Flower picks up the sixth elimination. Myth, the dream lives on. And the likes of Rogue Flower, one elimination puts him in seven. And then at eight, he activates the big bonus. Mm -hmm. You gotta think that's running through his mind right now here in the no final doubt. game. And I think before before anything right now, I think Flower should really take a chance to look at the map, take a just maybe look behind him at this hill because yeah. this next rotation into the zone it is so free. He should just go exactly. Per and there he go. Down. He's making it. He needs to get there, solidify his position, and then play for picks within that zone. There's a launch pad. He just dropped that down. Was, that was the guy that he eliminated previously. There's nobody in there. I don't think he's aware of that. The thing is, taking a look, Nate Hill was very close by. There we go. He's building up for it. This, so this is Mills right here? Is that right? I'm not 100% sure. Oh but gosh. all I do know is that there, there was vital stuff in there. He doesn't need, need to necessarily play for it, but he definitely needs to keep these people boxed out. He needs to have a strong presence in this next circle for him to be a dominant force, for him to activate big bonus and really reap in kills here. He's poised to do it. I mean, honestly, man, that was a jump pad. Yeah, you need to just break that wall. I don't think he's oh, seen it. Wait, can I, he just chiller himself? No, 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 he's good. Okay. And look at the loot there, dude. It's a launch pad, it's ammo, potentially mats, things like metal. He look at the AR he's, count. He's just waiting for the rotation. He's wait, he's actually he played oh, the ice trap the waiting for so him to run <laughs> on the ramp into the spike trap. No, he's way. a genius. No way, the 200 wait. IQ plays. Wait for it. We could see the lines. Flower can't, but will this person run straight into a trap? 
No. Will he? Happens, man. Please. This no. could be his He's seventh. coming closer. Let's make I it like happen. The patience coming out of oh, flower. I hear steps. Wait, they're up top. They're, they're above him. Yeah. Come on, just hit the chiller. Just hit the chiller. Nah, it's already passed. People have avoided it successfully. Flower's innovative plan doesn't work. Can I like seeing imagine? it, to be honest. I like seeing that come out of him. But he does see somebody right here. He's in the one by one. He's playing for the spray down. Going oh! for it with the spike trap and Nate Hill. It's Nate it's Hill. Flower's tear. But it's both. It's Nate Hill and Camille's in one go. Wait, what? Yeah, they They're were both, both in eliminated. There? Yeah. Wait, double spike trap? Yeah, it was a double no! spike trap. Coming out from Nate oh, Hill. I don't even know. My. No, Nate Hill's still alive. He's probably like, wait, God. what? Look, he just moves over. He's no. like, oh, thanks, guys. Look no. at all the stuff I have now. <gasps> that is insane. <laughs> so now Nate Hill, Nate Hill is where he needs to be. He has the potion. He has the mats. He has... <laughs> what? This? Listen, listen. You thought that you were going to go for this spike trap play. Nate Hill said, no, buddy. No, it's mine. And he gets another elimination, putting him at three on the board before placement. Has his kill, uh, has his elimination points already. Nate and now Hill. Nate Hill just needs to find that pocket to get into this next zone. He's playing low EU Amaze with five eliminations, actually. Not the greatest amount of HP, but he could make big things happen here if he finds the right person to eliminate with that double barrel shotgun. 20 seconds of Storm Plus. He finds an opponent. He finds another one coming out of the zone. This could be big for Emaze, but they do have grapplers. They're going to leave. This is going up oh, a hill. No. This could get dangerous for Emaze. And I don't think it's he's going to make good. out of it alive. Make it out alive. Man, you can't fight the mount. You have to make those early rotations. Even B Sox is going to go down here. It's just not enough. Wait. Ooh. It's the FPS who finds two eliminations. He's at five now, man. 13 players left alive. We just saw Hysteria go down. Zayt's alive. Vivid's down low. Hogman, ultimate low ground up there. Reverse 2Ks up high. There's a lot happening right now. And now, look, we move on the opposite side of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Now they have to traverse around and over this mountain. Look, Psalm's not going to have a lot of time here. Oh my god. It's already moving. But Psalm's, I think Psalm is doing the smart thing here. If he can play for a pick, you know, why not? You have that loadout. If anything, Psalm could go on an absolute tear right now. And it could be scary. He could be super scary with that sniper. Right here. He Perfect. shows up. Can't get into the box though. He didn't push in with it. The opponent spike trapped it, so it's a good thing that he didn't. And he's just gonna maintain high, or sorry, mid ground, as there's somebody else playing high ground. Just 11 players left to go, mid. Look at Coop, he's super low. Zayt's down low. Reverse, uh, maintaining that high ground with 300 metal. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't where you want to play high ground, Zeke. There are a few moments in my, like, that I've noticed where high ground is good, and high ground is bad. Ranger is down. And right now, the person that it's looking like this game is going to favor toward is actually vivid beyond anybody. Being that high is not going to be fun when you need to push all the way down late game toward that person that, that is low ground that might have bandages if this does end up being a heal off. So this is going to be a pivotal moment if reverse plays for low ground or not. Because if he needs to go, he needs to go now. But somebody's going to actually contest high ground, even though it might not. Oh, Reverses it's at Zay. six, And he gets him. But here's a verse. He's playing for the low. He knows he needs to do it. And it's Vivid on the low. Will it work out in Vivid's favor? Unbelievable mid. Here we go. Two. Reverse. Vivid. They are right next to each other, touching noses. And Vivid takes the victory royale. Unbelievable mid. You called it out. Vivid the entire time playing lower to the ground. And it comes up huge for him. He gets him the victory royale. It puts him ahead of the competition. And we'll see the last moments here where Vivid handles this situation with such poise, such control. Just waits for him to, spread, uh, to spray through because he knows he has to push through him. He's waiting for that zone and just gets him. And, you know, like we said about that high ground there, that's not, that's not the time where you want to play it. Vivid's probably feeling really good about that win, especially fighting against the mountain. I think you, you hit the nail on the head, man. Just maintaining that low ground. Mountains are very difficult to fight against oh, no because doubt. if you got other people building a on top of you, you have to break their walls. 
Oftentimes, it's late in the game. They're using metal. So him just playing low, he's like, I don't have to fight any of you. You have to come actually down to me. Yeah. And if you're up top... And you have to get through them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and he also had the rocket launcher as well. So even mm -hmm. if they had built up high, he could bring them down, but have them take that fall damage.